Welcome back to Household Easy's video series. Today we're going to discuss what to do with an inherited property. Should you sell it or should you rent it out? If you're the person who's in charge of your parents or a loved one's estate, the time can be filled with emotions as well for not just you but everyone involved. If your parents are moving to an assisted living, it'd be a similar situation. You basically have three options to consider when you're dealing with the property. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the option that's going to take the most effort on your behalf, the power of attorney or the decision maker. Your first option is to fix up the property and sell it. And this is the most time intensive regarding the property because you have to first go through all the personal property, uh, decide what to do with it, and then remove it from the property then fix up the property, make any repairs and updates that are needed to the house prior to listing it. Now this is going to net you the highest possible amount of cash, but again it's also the highest re work requirement on your behalf. The second option is to fix it up and rent it out. And while you may not have to spend as much money to repair the property, you're still going to have to spend a good amount of time cleaning out all the personal property and you have to ask yourself if you really want to be a landlord. So here you're going to go ahead and make that decision. If you don't need a large chunk of cash, this might be the right decision for you. The third option is to sell the property as is. This is the easiest option for the person in charge of the property because they don't have to make any repairs to the house. They can also leave quite a bit of the personal property in the house as a home buyer like Household Easy would be happy to come in and buy the property in as is condition. We're happy to remove personal items, uh, take care of anything that needs fixing and repairing. Now this is also the option that's probably going to net you the lowest amount of money, but again, it's the easiest and fastest way to liquidate an estate. There's some additional things you want to consider when you're considering this decision. And I recommend you evaluate this with uh, yourself and then your immediate family as well. Do you really want to be a landlord? Uh, keeping rentals definitely has some pros, but there are also some cons as well. Uh, you need to look at the property as an asset and be able to detach yourself emotionally from it. Tenants are notorious for living a little bit harder and possibly damaging the property. The next question you want to think about is what sort of maintenance does the house need currently and what sort of ongoing maintenance is going to be required? The house isn't just going to cash flow for you. You are going to have to keep maintaining the property, uh, repairing things, fixing the roof, things like that nature. The third question is, is the house in an area that you can even rent? If it's in a strict, uh, like a, if it's a condo, for example, you may be in an area where they will not even let you rent. So those are the things to consider on top of your three options. Thanks for watching Household Easy's video series. If you're interested in selling your property as is, please give us a call.